previously on Yakuza 3 Remastered. Rase, their conviction is the real deal. Kashiwagi-san's concern for your welfare was real too. Is revenge really that the way you want to respond to all that? Hell yeah, eat this cake! Ah! And now back to Yakuza. Hey, Nico. Yeah? What's that? What's what? Tire drop! Ah! Hello! This is Nico B. Back with some more Yakuza 3 Remastered. When we last left off, we finally defeated the leader of the freaking Hitman. And it turns out it was this guy I didn't remember from Yakuza fucking what? Who was actually even more significant than we even let on, because guess what the fuck what? He was the one that killed Reina and Shinji in that game. Oh, right. And Kiryu doesn't even rock on it. He's just like, yeah, hey, hey, you guy. You guy looks like Dante with red jacket and two pistols. Stop that. Stop it right now. And he's like, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> and then we just go on our merry way. God damn it, what the fuck, man? Gary should have kicked that dude right off the fucking building. Yeah, that's really weird. That's, uh, this seems like an oversight or like, like they planned it to be something different and then they just threw a Rousey at the last minute. Cause that does, that sort of, again, that kind of comes back to the problem I have a lot of times with characters in Yakuza games and that they get like fucking forgotten after a certain point. Like they don't get mentioned or brought up or like remembered. And even like enemies that were actually in those games, they come back in some way and we forget what like why we even fucking gave a shit about them. And I don't mean not just we, we as the player, but the actual fucking characters of the game don't remember either. They're just like, ah, whatever, it's fine, I'm over it. But along those same lines, uh, last episode, uh, Chad Benjamin said, so Arase murders Reina and Shinji, but he is the one who wants revenge and lectures Kiryu. What the fuck? <laughs> I know, right? Damn it, Kiryu, you ruined my life. How dare you beat the shit out of me for killing your two best friends and get me kicked out of the Yakuza. You suck. You suck, Kiryu, I'm gonna get you. Ah. God, just these fucking whiny bad guys and their fucking victim shifting, Jesus. <laughs> It's pretty ridiculous, honestly. I mean, I say kudos for bringing back an and an actually bringing back somebody who did appear in the previous games. I mean, I, I did like at least that concept for the end of the Hitman missions, and it wasn't just like Joe Amone or something. But damn, man, come on. He killed fucking Shinji and Reina, and they were a big fucking deal in those games. Shinji was basically the equivalent of what Rikia is in this game, your lovable little buddy. So yeah, it feels like they could have handled that better. Again, if what you guys mentioned before about how this game was kind of rushed in a lot of ways uh is any indication it could be they just either didn't think about it or just literally threw this motherfucker in at the last moment just to get like a like oh shit that guy you know reaction but forgot oh right he's also the one who like you know murdered some dear friends or whatever our carrier just doesn't give a fuck by this point he's like ah whatever i don't even remember who those characters are just like nico who can't remember who Kaura was and this showed up at the start of the game just like how nico can't remember who shion is who chad benjamin thank you so much for your uh enlightening comment and it's for that reason you are comment of the day but last episode we also did uh go through uh some arcs with both uh taichi and haruko who I, I i guess we didn't really have arcs for them yet taichi was kind of like involved in a lot of little ways with a lot of other people's sort of uh character arcs you know and i guess haruka was in, in a way as well i actually thought like when they when we were starting off with haruka's here and we're like okay we're, she's getting clearly we're doing something haruka focused uh for this next part i was actually thinking oh is this actually going to relate to the uh to her becoming a pop idol at some point because unfortunately i was kind of spoiled by that uh in judgment when i got like that free figure that was included um in one of the DLCs or something. Like, I didn't realize it when I got it, and I and I put it up in my fucking office in Judgment, and I looked up, and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> it was like, here's Haruka. I'm like, oh, oops. So I thought that, that might have to relate to that, but uh, clearly not. I guess that maybe happens in later games. We're kind of late in this game at this point anyway, so it kind of, I guess it kind of makes sense. But I am kind of curious to see how that's going to, like, occur and uh, what Kiryu's going to think about it. But yeah, I think with that, I think we've actually kind of gone through all the kids of the orphanage, right? I think each one of them has had, like, a moment to shine and have, like, a, a growing moment, you know? And I think overall, I think the way the game, this game handled this, I think they did a pretty decent job. I think the, the beginning of the game for when the plot had barely even started it worked well for this for giving each of the characters each of the kids of the orphanage like a moment to like to shine and have a have a personality and like 
contribute to the, the story in some way. Because we hadn't even touched on any of the Yaxa stuff here. And I think this one works decently well. We're still kind of in the middle of stuff, though. I mean, we're just waiting for something to happen at this point, right? So it kind of works, even though it is still kind of in the middle of the main story. But um, I think it, in this instance, I don't normally like it too much, some, especially with these Yaxa games where they... They seem to kind of force in character moments. Not well, not force in the character moments. Force in uh, stories that feel like they're not related to the main story in any way, right? Like they basically are like obligatory sub stories that flesh out characters, yes, but they feel like they interrupt the flow of the game significantly. And I feel like in this game, it gets away with it because the orphanage is such a big part of the main story and also the fact that Kiryu just hasn't been in a situation like this before you know I think he's sort of earned this because we've already had so many uh Yakuza plots that just seeing him like live life and like hang out with these kids who actually are like real kids and with like real problems and things that they're dealing with and uh, it's nice. And I think the fact they just saved uh, it seem seemingly two unless I mean it's just potentially we could have more but I think that was probably the last one two for like the last year i think it's all right i think i think it works well so let's go ahead and head back to the orphanage i decide to go do like a million things and try to build up my trust shut up don't you love me by this point we've done this like three or four times now why does your trust reset every game and also no seriously like i think i've done all the ones with her that i can currently do in okinawa that aren't like insanely obnoxious I think the, like the only other one i have is like shogi and fuck that dude like, I, I can do chess, okay? I can't do shogi because I don't recognize the pieces immediately. It's going to take some fucking learning. And also, I, I kind of realized shogi is actually a lot different from chess. Oh, I think I saw a shooting star. Well, I got so late. Huh. Yeah, it's almost time for you kids to get to bed. I like, by the way, how you were like, essentially like aiding and abetting in some illegal activity, but we're just kind of like rolling that shit off. We're like, that's ah, fine. You learn not to do that anymore, right? Yep. Okay, cool. T trust no one. No one. I gotta take a bath first. Can you check on the others for me while I'm in there, Uncle Cos? Make sure they're all they've all taken baths and ask how their homework's coming along while you're at it. Yeah, they can do that. Okay, let's watch as my shoes magically disappear and <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I don't even have to use my hands anymore. Hey, kids, what's up? the hell do they watch oh my god are they watching those two fucking comedians from wait no i don't know who the fuck those two are looks like the same dude with the colors of the shirts photoshopped ah and the one on the left just doesn't move or breathe hey you two have you taken your baths mm -hmm. mm, not yet i do when this show's over and your homework i do when this show's over too not me i don't have any homework today uh hey Man, seriously, fuck you. I get mounds of it every night. I wish my teacher just give me his break. Blading won't get it done any quicker. Go on. Yeah, fine. Hey, are you too old clean and shiny? Uh, yep, I took my bath in a little while ago. Me too. Good. How's your homework coming along? All finished. Uh, I'm mostly done, but I still have a grammar to do. I'm so bad at it. All the more reason to do your homework and study, right? I mean, yeah, but I just don't get how it even works. Okay, if you always avoid things that are difficult, you'll never be able to grow. Owning up to your weaknesses and face them as head-on is the best way to improve. Damn it, Daddy Kiri, why do you always gotta be right? Because I'm always right! Okay, I'll try. Hey, staying can be pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Why don't you ask Ayako to give you a hand? I'm sure she'd be more than ha more more than glad to help you out. <laughs> Mi Misuo and uh, uh, this other girl here is making out like, Oh God, Jesus Christ, guys, come on! Hey, you two, this is done, all done? Ah. Yep, we finished ages ago. And have you taken your baths? Oh, uh, not yet. I took one before dinner. Well, Masuo, you'll have to wait until Araka gets out. How's your homework coming along? I did that before dinner, too. I, uh, uh, uh. Oh, come on, Mitsuo. I'll take that as a no. You should be more proactive about getting your chores done. We only did everything before dinner. Now she has the rest of the night just to relax. All right. Hey, Riona, think you can help me with my homework since you are so free? Yada. Do it yourself, Baka. You never get a girlfriend with that kind of attitude, bitch. Ouch. <laughs> Fuck. Right for the jugular. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. Uh. I go, John. I go, John. I saw the cutest little dog toy at the pet store today. My old dog used to have a toy just like it, so I'm sure mommy would love it. Can I borrow some money to get it for him? Please. I wonder if it costs... Uh, uh, how much it costs? I only have a little more than 500 yen of my allowance left. Well, I have like... 
three million. So, you know, you could ask Daddy Kiryu, but whatever. How much do you need, Azumi-chan? Uh -huh. Um, I think it's 500 yen. It's practically all I have left. And there's still a few more days until I get my more, more allowance. Please! Mommy's gonna love it! I like how I can read her thoughts, by the way. <laughs> I know exactly what she's thinking. All right. <laughs> Yay! Thanks, Azumi-chan! <sighs> hey, what's up? Give me some money, bitch. <laughs> I ain't got John. Cheryl? What's wrong? My, 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 you're so mean. Oh, wait. Wait, I never mind. I guess we're not going, I guess we're not done yet. We're clearly going through another arc here. <laughs> wait, did I could have a, I thought she did. I thought we did one with her already. Uh, little girl's with the dog. Okay, maybe we maybe we haven't done hers, actually. I don't know. Can't keep track of these kids. No, it wasn't that. It was the uh, Ayako and uh, and that other little girl that was just in there, right? There was like a point where they like didn't trust each other or whatever. That that was what happened. That, that, I thought that was their character arc. I, okay, I guess we're... I guess she just wasn't just specifically for her. Hey, come now. What happened? He thinks I cheated on our math test because I got a perfect score. And it wouldn't believe me when I tried telling him the truth. He just called me a liar and gave me a bunch of extra homework as punishment. Fuck you. Grammar homework. I don't get it all. Don't worry, Shiro. I'll help you out in a bit, okay? Really? Thanks, Ayako John. She's like the big sister here. Aside, for, aside from Haruka. Ayako. Hi, Uncle Kaz. Have you taken your bath yet? It's just about to. Yeah, the Karakachan's in there now. She's about any second. Sure. By the way, Ayako. Huh? What is it? It's just, you spend so much time putting other people's needs before your own. Of course I do. They need me. Oh, and I think I hear Harakachan getting out of the bath. I should go jump in. Right. <laughs> Let them walk, man. The walk animation is so weird. Like, seriously, why do they pump their arms so hard? Like, <sighs> like they're power walking, but not going anywhere. See, you know, nothing like a refreshing bath. Arka. Oh, Ayako, guys. Is something wrong? It's, Ay mm -hmm. it's Ayako. Ayako, John? What about her? Hmm, I see. I mean, it's great that she puts so much effort into making sure everyone else is okay. But I'm also kind of worried she's not taking care of herself. Huh? Why do you say that? Not sure. It's just the impression I get. Honestly, I'm feeling, kind of feeling that way, the same way. I'm sure Ayako-chan thinks she has to take care of everyone else so she's the old, oh, she's, she's older than they are. She almost treats it like some kind of job. I keep offering help too, but, but she turns me down flat every time. Plus. Plus what? I think the other kids ask her for stuff t they're too afraid to ask me for. They probably think I get mad at them. And Ayako-chan's so nice that she can't say no, no matter what they ask for. She barely thinks of herself. Yeah, I think you're right. There's a shiny thing out there. It's a worm. The next day. Oh, hey, the next day. Hmm, what should we make for dinner tonight, Hara Kachan? Mm. Good question. I wonder what the others feel like having. Huh? <laughs> Here's another kid walking weirdly down the hall. <laughs> John. All right. Oh, Zumi Chan, did you get, end up getting that new toe for mommy? He must have been so happy when you brought for him, home for him. Oh, that? They were all sold out. And what about the 500 yen I let you? Me and my friend used to buy some candy. It was so good. What the fuck? Oh, come on. What's wrong, Shiro? More homework? Nuh-uh. I handed in the homework you helped me with yesterday, but my teacher got real mad because it wasn't far to worse like he said it should be. He gave me detention and everything. What the fuck, Ayako? You what the fuck? Oh, I didn't realize it had to be a certain length. But sit right in the top center of the page. Oh, if you're going to help, at least try to do it right. I'm just going to give you more grammar homework now. Thanks a lot, bitch. Mom. It's not very nice, Shiro. Erica John took time out of her night to help you. You should be grateful. Whatever. Fuck you. Ah! Aiko chan Hmm? Aiko? Aiko chan wait! Erica, what happened? Well, um... Then Mama told me what happened. Huh? Where, Aiko? Where the hell is she? Where's that bitch? I need some fucking food. Give me some more soba. You've had enough soba, Taiji. It's gonna kill you. I don't care, Uncle Goss. I'd rather die than live without soba the rest of my life. Listen up, everyone. What's going on, Uncle Kaz? You're all a bunch of assholes. It's Ayako. Oh, uh, what about it? 
Just need to realize how much I could test for them. Better talk to each of them one by one. Now, who's up? Shiro, you're a nerd. Nerd. Okay, who's next? Shiro, when you need help with your homework last night, who did you go to? Huh? I ain't got chance, but she fucked up. All right, she deserves to be chastised. No buts. She had her own work to worry about, but she still took the time to make sure you can get got the help you needed. And what did you say to her today? Shiro, what did you say to her? Um. I swear to God. Now who's up? All right, Mitsuo. Mitsuo's like, what? I haven't done anything. Mitsuo. Mitsuo, what did you do? Uh, yeah? Remember that fight you got in, got in the other day? Do you know who went to apologize to the boy's parents? Wait, that was Ayako-chan. That's right. Huh. She didn't have to do that. It was just a little scuffle. A little scuffle that left the other boy with a broken bone. Jesus Christ. He fractured one in his hand when he fell. He'll never be able to play baseball again thanks to you. Ayako's apology is the only thing that kept it from boiling over into a much bigger issue. Oh, I guess that's why she kept telling me to go say I was sorry. Now who's up? Koji! Koji, you little shit, what have you done? Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I'm scared! Koji! Well, me? Yeah, y you. Aiko always p patches you up when you get hurt by playing baseball, right? How often do you think you thank her for that? Well, um... Now who's next? Taichi! Taichi, what have you done? Oh, come on, fucker, guys! We gotta go through my own shit! Shut up, alright, you're gonna sit there and listen. Taichi, what? Remember you collapsed in your buckweak allergy? Mm. Yeah, of course I remember. It was like literally yesterday, Uncle Kaz. Do you ever think about who rushed to, to call the doctor for you? That fucking crazy psycho who was like, <laughs> was like, like, this kid's gonna fucking die. <laughs> it was a really great doctor, she found. It was Ayako. Ah. Azumi. Azumi. Uh-huh. Ayako gave you the 500 yen to buy a nice new toy for mommy. How did she know when you told her you just bought candy for you and your dumb friend? Well, God damn it, Eric! Eric! Yeah? You haven't shown up in a story in a while. I, just, I, I, I couldn't remember like what 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 happened with you this week. What what are you doing? Uh, I don't know. I just like watch some TV. All right. Well, who was there to change the channel when you you, you wanted to? I don't know. Fuck. Well, I, I haven't been here. I just got back. All right. Just sit there, Eric. I'm gonna figure out some shit. I'll come back to you. Okay, I'm back. I learned some stuff. All right. You and I got in a fight the other day, but she didn't hold a grudge. She forgave you right away and still treated just the same as she always does. Didn't she? Oh, that, yeah, that was it. It was you and Ayako, not the other girl. Sorry. There's too much shit happening in this game. Yeah. No, what's up? Riona. You're the worst of all. God damn, Riona. Whoa, what did I do? You're just the fucking worst. I, I still, I'm still seething for that shit with Mutsu earlier, okay? Seething. Riona. Me? I didn't do anything. Who gave you those clothes? Uh -huh. Well, uh, was Ica John's? So what? These clothes suck anyway. I don't like pink. She got you those for you because she knew how embarrassed you were about the bird scar on your arm. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. Have you ever been consider that considerate toward any of the other kids sitting at this table? Especially Mitsuo. Well, like, mm, I don't think he has realized how much Ica John does for all of us. And you definitely aren't grateful for it. And also me, by the way. I also do a lot of shit. You guys aren't grateful to me either. Me too. Thank me. We're a family, right? We're a family. Should be there for each other. Agreed. Now, I'm going to go find Ayako. Or Ay Ayako. So, awkwardly walk out this door. It's okay. Uncle Hells will bring it back. We can all show how much we appreciate her. Find Ayako. She's gone forever. Time to bring Ayako home. She must have gone downtown. Come on, Mommy. I'm going to take him with me. Ayako! Damn it. She's nowhere on the map. Which means I got to run around rambling. Damn it, are they trying to like, what are they trying to simulate the, the feeling of looking for an actual child throughout the city? But come on, man, just give me a waypoint. I don't like to run around. I don't like having to run around completely randomly, hoping to God, like, okay, please be over here. Is this guy a bad guy? What the hell? Dude, what are you doing? This guy's just standing here looking in this direction. What? What's over here? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? You're not even, you're not a bad guy. You don't want to fight me? You're not a Pokemon trainer to duel me? You're not like a sub story waiting to do shit? Like, what? oh, what? They turned around and they turned back. Oh, he's moving again. I think he got sick. Why? <gasps> he was waiting for his girlfriend. Oh my God. Fucking organic character interactions with NPCs. This game's incredible. 10 out of 10. Most technologically advanced game ever. It was incredible. Oh, look at him go. They're still going. I can still see them. The draw distance is amazing too. 
God damn. Where do they go? Where are they? <gasps> they disappeared. All right, there's Ayaka over there, but where are the Seriously, that story. That was a beautiful story. Wait. Are you the girl I just went with? Wait. Where'd he go? What happened to him? What'd you do to him? Where is he? NPC dude? NPC dude? No. Oh, God, no. What did you do to him? What? Now she's gone. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I got your call, police. I can wait right there. I got call, police. Ah, ah. I called the police and they just laughed at me. Any, anyway, Ayako, what's going on with you? Oh, Ayako, don't cry. It's okay. Uncle Kaz already got all the lockers. See? Look. We're fine. Ayako, I've been looking all over for you. Uncle Kaz? Come on. Let's go home. Uh-oh. No, I'm not going back. Ayako, wait. Stop doing your funny little runaway. Oh no. Oh, what? Holy shit. <laughs> oh, then suddenly Ayako hauling ass and damn. You thought they pumped their arms when they fucking walked. Look at her arms right now. Woo! Damn. Am I gonna lay her the fuck out? <laughs> Can I actually? No, I can't. I can now ram. That would have been... Oh, my God. That would have been both hilarious and fucking awful. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm sorry. I got, I've got, I got a little carried away. I go. I need you to listen to me. No, I always fix stuff for other people. Never again! I don't care about Born Glory anymore. What was that? What was that? Turn, but turn around and then went back again. I'm going this way. Wait, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, I go. Oh, I do feel bad for her. If this is so slightly hilarious. Da, 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 da. Seriously, her, she is hauling so much ass. Her arms are just like damn. This is gonna, this is gonna teach Aiko that she should be a professional sprinter. <laughs> uh, oh, come on, Kira. You, you still had a good, like, 80% left in the tank there. Calm down. Aiko, stop running. Please just listen to me. Aiko, <laughs> please. No more. Oh, she's exhausted, too. Uh, uh, uh. What the hell? Why is my bar still down, but hers is refilled? That's not fair. Come on. Come on. Is that dude waiting to beat me up? I can't even see our bars anymore. Ayako! How much energy do we have left? What the hell? What is up with these cars? Oh my god. Oh my god. How long is this gonna go on for? Ah, I hit it, dude. I didn't realize you're such a good runner. Alright, I'm too tired. Listen to what I have to say. I just want to... Okay, hold on. Hold on. I got a little... Okay, I'm better now. Please, Aiko. Damn, seriously. She's like running in like sandals, too. Aiko. I need you to believe me when I say I'm grateful for everything you do for us, Aiko. So is Haruka. And so are all the others. They're just a bunch of assholes sometimes. I know they ask a lot of you, and I know they don't thank you enough. But that doesn't mean they don't appreciate you. And it certainly doesn't mean they don't love you. <laughs> Uncle Kaz. So, come on. How about we head home? I'll give you a piggyback ride. Can she walk with me? She does. Can, we can you hold my hand? Are we going to do... Uh, oh, I shouldn't hold my hand like uh, Haruka does. I guess only Haruka's allowed to do that. But she does still have her hilarious walk. Damn. So, so apparently the kids do have a sprint animation and it's fucking hilarious. All right, back to morning glory. Holy shit, is it getting late already? I think it is. I was chasing her for a fucking while. Yeah, oh my god. I guess, I guess we're not doing the main story thing today either. I just said everybody's here waiting. Mina. Ayako ne chan, it's mo arigato. Boku kara wa kore. Hm? Kore wa? Kore wa? 
ごめんなさいいつも本当にありがとう<笑>ロンドリーキューパーネはいこれみ,みんなしばらくあやこちゃんが休めるようにってみんなで考えたんだよ最後は俺からよしそこに TV シューズあるお手伝いけんいらねえできねえくせにあやこに迷惑かけてどうしたのいやなにやめてしまうよっしゃありがとうみんなありがとうあーオリグローリー、really came together to cheer Ayako up. I'm feeling everyone's gonna get along better from now on. Still haven't heard from Ta Tamiya, though. Holy shit, is this story gonna continue or not? <laughs> nah, that was cute. I, I liked that. So just give me another call today. Uh, oh. Oh, here, wait, there he is. There's the main story. <laughs> oh, hey there, brother. Brother! <laughs> Good seeing you, Nagara. How'd your test go? No, just peachy. Passed them all with flying colors. Sounds like it won't be much longer till I'm right as rain. Only if you get enough rest, boss. You should be in bed right now. Now and about. Yeah, I can rest when I'm dead. Ha ha ha. Think he's gonna be just fine. Talk to me. Carry you, it's me. Tamiya. I've been waiting to hear from you. Where's Toma? His meeting with the Prefectural Assembly just ended. My informant seems to believe he's on his way to celebrate with a drink. Perhaps many more than just one. Got it. I have to wonder though, if you have eyes on Toma, why don't you have just your guy tell him what's going on? Seems like that's the easiest way to protect him. My operative is not o only a valuable asset to me, but a prominent Okinawan p politician as well. Revealing his identity would undoubtedly hinder future progress for the island. Not to mention the fact that Toma no longer trusts me. It was his decision to leave, after all. True. He probably won't e wouldn't even think of listening to your informant after that. So, what's the plan? Do you know where he went drinking? Hasumachi, most likely. Any idea what bar? There's several that I recall him frequenting. We hopped around quite a few places when he brought me down there. But come to think of it, there was one that he seemed to love more than any other. It was a bar specializing in pole dancing. Oh, yeah! Though it seems I'm having trouble recalling the name. A pole dancing bar in Hasumachi. Got it. Please, Kiryu. Tomo doesn't deserve the faith that Joji would lead him to. I'll handle it. You focus on stopping the resort. The land acquisition part of, part of it, at least. I wonder if I actually have to fight Joji. You need to worry about that. Unlike most politicians nowadays, I'm a man of my word. Glad to hear it. Later, Tamiya. Pole dancing bar in Hasamachi, huh? I'll get over there, Nikki. Tommy just told me where he thinks Toma is. Guess that means you're heading out, then. That's the plan. Can the two of you keep an eye on the kids for me while I'm gone? Don't we worry, Nikki. We'll watch him like a friggin' hawk. Oh. And be careful, yeah? I will. All right, here we go. Isn't it wonderful, Mommy? Check this out, Uncle Kaz. Oh! Uncle Mickey built a Mommy a doghouse. Holy shit, Mickey did something. Huh, he actually did pretty good. Just tell Mickey thank you. Of course. It, Mommy, you're a little lucky pup. Uh, Mommy think he thinks so too. That's good to hear. You keep looking after him, all right? You bet, Uncle Kaz. Whoa, where did she go? <laughs> and then she vanished. Well, that's, that, that's cute. That's cute. I like little moments like that even, you know? Like, that wasn't related to any way to any sub story, right? I could have easily probably walked away and not seen that. But I could. I could see it and talk to them. And I always appreciate that. Just like a, just like a little moment like that. Because that shows the developers give a shit about the kids as much as we do. I do kind of have to wonder what, what's going to end up happening to the orphanage, you know? I, I don't know if Kiryu is going to be heading this orphanage for the remainder of the series or not. I mean, maybe he will, which would be fine with me. And if so, like, what happens to the kids? Do we see them grow up or what? I don't know. Lots of, lots of questions for the future of the series and where it goes from this point forward. Yeah, isn't that right, Mommy? And you too. You better stick around more than that other dog did. Which I know, I know, I know, it was, it was mutual, it was fine. He like found a hobo or something to hang out with, but I still miss him. I look at his picture all the time and sing Baka Mitai. So a bar in Hasamashi. Oh shit, there it is. There's actually, that's the, uh, I believe the missable sub story. Uh, that only pops up after 
Uh, when we reached this point in the story. I'm glad I had a question mark, because to be honest, I actually kind of forgot. <laughs> I think we're really getting down to the nitty gritty of the sub stories here, though. Like, I think there were like a, were a total of, I think like 119 or something. So we are, we are really close. There's definitely less than 10 left at this point. What we got going on over here? Slight, slightly plump gentleman. Excuse me, does Doc Hassan live here? He does, but he's not in right now. Do you have some kind of business with him? Oh, I just need to speak with him for a moment. In that case, he's actually at my house. I can take you to him if you'd like. Wonderful. I would greatly appreciate it. Oh, hey, okay, back we go again. Fuck Hatsumashi. Nagahara, you have a visitor. Pardon the intrusion. B Pops! Huh? What? Why? Fizz and Mikio's father. It's been a while, ha hasn't it? Well, no need to talk out here. Why don't you come inside? Is Mikio gonna just get a character arc now? So, Hiragaki-san, Hirag what brings you here? I heard you were shot recently. I'll add that to my reasons I'd like you to let Mikio return to an honest life. I've got a job waiting for him at my brother's factory in Nagasaki. No one will know he was the Yakuza up there. He'll be able to get a fresh start. What's the big idea, Pops? You think you could just decide everything for me? I'm sitting here with the Ryudo family. You'll never survive in this kind of world without taking everything from you, Mikio. Take it from this man, who was shot with an actual gun. This isn't some television drama, you know. I'll come by again. Make sure you've gathered up your things by then. Oh, it's always been like this. Everything always gotta be exactly his way. Doesn't matter what I want. And now he wants to dr drag me to Nagasaki? Get real, Pops. Mikio. His family is quite famous around here, you know. They've been running a traditional restaurant by the station for years. However, Mikio has always had a tough time with his father. The reason he ran away was to get out from under his roof. He told me he had nowhere else to go, so I decided to take him in. Is that right? That said, Yakuza never live easy. Live easy. Not just any kid off the street can make the cut. Mikio's still young. I know his father's only looking out for him. If Mikio's ever going to get out of his life. Now might be his best chance. So that was Mikio's father. See what his son has to say. Thinks he can just boss me around. Freaking not Saki though. Look how I'm gonna go. Mikio. Go back to an honest life. So you want to stay in the Yakuza? Are you running away again? Are you just running away again? Don't tell me you plan on avoiding your father for the rest of your life. So what if I am? What is it to you anyway? Nothing. But what about the kids in Morning Glory? Is that the kind of example you want to set for them? Um, stop, or else I'll, I'll call the police. Huh? Huh? Hey, what's up? What are you whining about? You're the one who needs to stop the bullshit. We know you've been snooping around. Yeah, and in fact, we hear you've been digging up all kinds of dirt. <laughs> if you insist on keeping that up, we're gonna have to send you on a nice little vacation to the bottom of the Okinawan Sea. Wait, Pops? What do you bastards think you're doing? You're stepping in Ryudo family territory. <laughs> Ryudo family territory. Sorry, but we can't keep dragging all the tiny Cuban families out here. You disrespecting us, asshole? You better get gone before we lay the smack down on you. Hey, what do you want with this- what do you want with this man? You shut your goddamn mouth and I have to shut it for you. Burr, 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 burr. Bring it on. I want to see you try, bitch. Uh, yeah, fuck this. Get the bat out. Uh, I'm ending this now. Ah, uh, uh, uh. oh, you guys broke my bat. Now I'm gonna break your face. Uh. Uh, right in the face. Yeah, I remember this. Next time I see you, your ass is going down. You all right, Pops? What happened to you? Don't touch me. You yucks of trash. Only no vulgarity and violence. Those hooligans even threatened my life. You, you know better than any of them. Fuck you, dude. Pops? Was that a little harsh? I don't know what's going on. But something bad would have happened if Mickey didn't show up to save you. I'll call the police if I'm in trouble. I don't need help from the Yakuza. I certainly don't need help from my son if that's what, your, what he considers himself. Mikio, I want you to 
to go to Nagasaki at once. Understood? You still have a chance to return to a normal life. Okay, yeah, I see why you don't like your dad. I wonder what's gotten into my old man. I mean, when I joined the family, he wasn't exactly thrilled. But he's never been this out of whack before. If you want to find out, then ask. You're not a kid anymore, you know. Yeah, you're right, sir. Going back to town? Okay, where the fuck are they? Oh, there they- there is again. Huh? Alright, where are they? Talk! I have no idea. Find out you're hiding them, you're gonna be in for a world of hurt. Threaten me all you want. All I have to do is call the police and you'll be put away for good. <laughs> be my guest, Arasaki-san. Or Aragaki-san. We don't care. One of us gets a slammer and you're gonna be in the afterlife. In fact, that'd be- that's uh, solve our problem entirely. Can't be yaks over afraid of police in prison time. <sighs> but we're human too. We don't enjoy killing people just to solve problems. So how about just giving us back them ledgers and none be the wiser? <sighs> Whatever you're trying to do, you need to give it up. <sighs> yeah, shit ever last time. It's time to shake your ass up for good. Or for God's sakes. How many times I gotta hit you with a bat for you to fucking learn? Screw it. This time I'm going up, I'm gonna take it up a notch. Eat blade. <laughs> Uh, 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 die! Oh shit, I don't. I just rushed it. I'm like, why am I doing. Oh, I forgot to equip my uh, other Kamiyama thing. I have the thing that's basically uh, helping eliminate uh, encounters, and I'm actually seeing that. I'm not, I'm not seeing, like, much of any encounters on the map. I, I, it actually might eliminate all encounters. Which, if that's the case, it's fucking incredible. But I need to remember, if I, if I get in a fight, I need to, to equip that back on, especially if I'm using weapons. Hey, are you alright? You tell me what's going on. Well, you promised to keep this from Mikio. Depends on what you say. I'll decide after I hear it. The new president of the, co the Commerce Union has been laundering money, and it all goes to the Yakuza family in Kansai. Only I have the proof to stop him. To make matters worse, the president is doing anything he can to close my restaurant and replace it with a supermarket chain from Kansai. Huh. So that's why all those Kansai punks are down here. Yes. So just a little while ago, I waited for the president to leave, and then I told I took these, and those are the company le the company ledgers. Soon enough, the president will realize I stole them, and then he'll most likely go after me and my family. They found out Mikio's a yakuza, and it ends up starting a war. There'll be hell to pay. So that's why you wanted to send Mikio off to Nagasaki, out of harm's way. Okay, you're not as bad as I thought. Indeed. I don't care what happens to me, but I can't let anything happen to my family. Now I understand your situation. But the police can't always move fast enough to stop the Yakuza, you know. Don't worry. I'll watch out for your family. You want to get those ledgers to the police, right? Oh, yes. Can you go by yourself? Yes, I'll go right away. I'm really grateful for this. Do I have to stick with it, man? <laughs> Seriously. This runs deeper than a simple family issue. I think you should know what's going on. He's probably back at the Rito family office. And now it shows up on the... Okay. Okay. Actually, my pink marker disappeared too, though. So maybe this only shows up when it's like, okay, you, you, now you actually have to do this because you can't continue with the main story. Probably because Mikio inv is involved with the main story as well. M maybe? I, I don't know. Whatever. Mikio's not here. Maybe he's still morning glory with Nagahara. Talk to me. Kill you. Sorry, but I'm in a real tough spot. Get over here as quick as you can. Nagahara, what's wrong? Where are you? Oh, Mikio's father re- Oh, shit. Hey, Nagahara, what happened? There's Mickey right there. Damn, that didn't sound good at all. Oh, oh Kiryu, sir. What brings you here? Mikio, Nagahara's not with you? Huh? The old man's not back yet? Maybe still at Morning Glory. No, he just called. I don't know the details, but it sounds like he's in trouble. What? Really? Maybe it's something to do with all those cars. Cars? What cars? So a line of big black cars go down Rikyu Boulevard. For sure they turn out onto Kitaru Kitariyu Street. Kitariyu Street. Are you sure? Yeah, that's where my old man's restaurant is. Oh, and by old man, I mean my pops, not old man Nakahara. That's it. What do you mean? Nakahara's gotta be there. Come on, Mikio, lead the way. What the? You think the old man will be there? I mean, old man Nakahara? <sighs> of course my actual pops would be there. We don't have time for this. Let's get going! Yes, sir, yes, sir, follow me! Down to down to down 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 to down to down. Okay, it's not that far away. Oh fuck it, I'm not <laughs> You're taking too long, Mickey. I'm going I'm going ahead. I'm ahead. 
Uh, com com Commerce Union President. You gonna give us back what you stole? Or we're gonna have to make you suffer. Forget it. You think I'd hand over this town this town over to you, thugs? Uh -huh. One of your mainlanders just head back home. As long as the Rita family's here, you'll never get far in this town. Strong words from somebody who can barely walk. Guess there ain't no point in dragging this out further. Boys, make an example out of this fool. Pops! Get away from here, Mikio. This is no place for you. Mikio, take care of these guys. I know you can do it. Stay away. Oh, come on, Mikio. Huh? Two, my two dads? No! What are you going to do? You know what? You think you can take over downtown Ry Ryukyu? You better think again. Let's go, Mikio. Sounds like this where I really wish we had dual heat actions in this game. Or partner heat actions. It's just the fucking best. Let's go. Oh, wait. That's right. Put my thing back on. Get, uh, get my cow sticks out. Oh, my God. Oh man, did you hear that fucking did you hear that fucking stereo scream? It was beautiful. Buffs, are you okay? The Leches. Yeah, ha, I got him now. So hell, hell with your nasty, nasty ass restaurant. We're gonna rip this place to shreds. Ah, ha, ah, ha. You'll never catch me. Mickey, I'll hurry and get those ledgers back. Okay, just watch me. Kiryu, please go help Mikio. Got it. Chase the president! Mr. President! You come back here! <laughs> Where the hell did Mickey go? It's gonna be me doing all the work, isn't it? Oh shit, he went the. That was gonna go right, he went left. Ah, come here, old man! <laughs> Just, who the hell are you anyway? A motherfucking Batman. I'm Mikio Aragaki, the Rito family. If you let me figure out my old man, there'll be no mercy hey. for you. I've got the ledgers now, Mikio. Let's get back. I'm worried about your father in Nakahara. So let's leave this guy here to rot. To think about what he did. Nakahara, are you okay? Carry you, Mikio. I owe you one. The sex would never have gotten past me if I hadn't been injured. Hey, Pops, we got the ledgers back. Okay, I'll take take them, but don't expect me to say thank you to a Yakuza. Give it a rest, Pops. This has nothing to do with me being Yakuza. And just because I'm your son. We're family, right? What son wouldn't help his parents? Mik Mikio. Rikaki's son. Mikio can make his own decisions. You can't keep treating him like a child. Anyway, boss, what were you doing here? Huh? Eh, I was. Nakahara son came all the way over here for you. Rikaki son, don't. He won't understand if I don't tell him. Nakahara son came here, bowed his head, and said, Whatever happens, please let it be Mikio's decision. I know a Yakuza like me doesn't have the right to say this, but I want you to let Mikio make his own choices. Please allow him this, Agaki san. Nakahara san, why do you care about Mikio so much? Is it natural for a father to worry about his children? Pops. People should choose their own paths. Mikio, you you met a fine man. I know. わしはお前の人生にはとやかく言わん。だがお前にはもう帰る家は流動一家しかないと思え。え、お前流動一家に。骨を埋める覚悟があるんだろう。ああ。だったらそうしろ。流動一家を自分の家として最後までやってみせろ。親父。みきよ。中原さんはできた人だ。あの人に一から鍛えてもらえ。お前が一人前になるまでは不知の
and I think it's good. Same thing with the the kids stories as well. You know, we have like, there's like usually always at the end of a lot of those uh, those character arcs, there's like a voice scene, which is which is nice. It's very poignant. Nakawa son, take good care of my son. It will be my honor. Please leave him to me. Mikio, sir, I should be proud of your father. Who I am, and I'm proud of Patriarch Nagahara too. And I'm proud of the 10,000 experience I just got. All right, cool. I think with that, we are now done with all the sub stories that we can possibly do at this time. Um, I think actually all that really leads is, I mean, there's the, the one we started, Murder Cafe Alps, so we can't do till the last chapter. And then whatever remaining ones come out uh, are available in the final chapter as well. So we are just about there, guys. And now it is finally time. <laughs> finally. We, said, we initiated this whole thing with Toma like 30 episodes ago. But it's finally time to continue with it. Maybe save Toma. If he's not already dead at this point. Uh, so Hasamashi, I see a guy clapping. Oh. Hey, buddy, you ever make your way over to the Canal Grande? Oh. No. You know what you're to check it out? They got the sexiest girls inside of the Arawaka. And boy, do they know how to work a pole. Let me tell you. Did you say poles? You mean pole dancing, right? Yeah, they even have this two-tiered stage in addition to a huge main stage. Unlike anything you've ever seen. Last customers pay a visit whenever they found themselves in Okinawa, just down there at the end of the street. Canal Grande, hmm? Maybe T Tom will be there. All right. I see it. You see a girl who tore herself on a big metal pole, sir? You want You want to? I promise you never see anything like it. Do I? Must be where Toma is. What do you say, sir? Show's just about to start. Let's do it. Sure, I'll take a look. Wonderful, sir. Sir, is there a specific host you'd like to request? No, thanks. It's actually my first time here. Oh, excellent. Right away, my amateur friend. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I hope this song isn't copyrighted. Blah, 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 blah. Just in case I'm going to make a little bit of noise. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Look at those beautiful PS3 bodies, guys. God damn. It's never going to look better than this. They look just like real people. Oh, God. Damn. Damn. Camera's really getting in there. Seriously, I feel like this is them really trying to be like, man, should look what the PS3 can do. Look at it. How the hell did I miss this place up till now? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my god. Uh-oh. Joji's here. He's coming in for the bear hug. He told me everything, like literally everything. Well, what do you think he's pointing a gun at you, you idiot? Tamiya Tamiya先生が俺を殺そうとして。動くな。あんた。本気で<笑><笑> 
キリフ・カズマだってなお前も勝って極道に来た男なら親の命令がどれだけのもんかわかるだろう何俺にとって CIA は親殺せと命令されたらたとえ相手が誰であろうと殺すしかない。Uh -oh. Time to die, asshole. 一緒に地獄で会う。Yeah. Run, asshole! どういうつもりだ俺はトーマを救い出し、あんたも救う。タミヤと約束したんだ。タミヤめ、相変わらず甘い男だ。俺はあんたにこれ以上、人を殺してほしくない。俺は命令に従う俺を止めたければ分かってるなあああんたを倒すしかないということだなさすがは兄貴が見込んだ男だ物分かりがいいらしい兄貴と同じ血の通った俺をお前は殴ることができるのか yeah, like we are definitely fighting each other. だが重要なのは血じゃない。俺と親さんは絆でつながってる。あ、oh, あ、その絆しっかり見せてもらおうか。ああ、ファグミスコーデン !Let's fucking go!Kill you time!Kill you, k a z u m a k a k u w e f i g h t l e t s do it! ジョージカズマ行くぞ行くぞ Let's do it Come Come ジョージ Come not daddy Holy shit just taking the crap out of that This guy's like I'm not gonna block I don't need to block Wow apparently he really doesn't Oh wait there he goes Give me this thing. Yeah. Hold on to the. Ow,、oh, it didn't work. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, he's going crazy. Come at me. Oh, this music is so fucking awesome. Uh, uh. Woo! Oh, it's that smooth jazz, baby. Come on. Come on. Show me your power. Oh, I'll show you what my daddy taught me. Actually, technically, it was Kamaki, but you know. Ow. Oh, he switches his. Oh, God, he switches his stance. It's so sick. I think it's letting you know when to attack him. Come on. Come on. I'll kick you in the nuts. Damn, I tried to tire drop him, but he's not fucking. There we go. Come here. Ah, shit. Oh, God, his power is growing. Come on. God damn it. Oh shit, oh shit, ow. Oh man, this guy is so fucking.、Uh, he's sick. He's got the moves to back up the Kazama name. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh my god, it's the Matrix. No. Oh shit, wrong button. Ow. Oh, fuck. Okay, might need a little bit of a pick me up. 
Oh shit! Don't forget to put this on. Go ahead, I can do this all day, bitch. Oh god. Oh. Your powers are a great old man, but mine are greater. I shall show you what I mean. Ow. I shall show you what I mean. Ah! Come on, get up. I know you're not done yet. Moariga. Oh, Jesus Christ, wall belt. Ah, oh, come back. Damn, I'm trying to parry you. There we go. Now, let me show you what my real power is like. Oh, fuck, here we go. Go there! This ends now! I don't care if you look like my daddy. I will not hold back. It's snapping every fucking bone in your body. Ah, pole position. そこの俺を。ああ。なんで俺は先生を裏切って見ねえよ。Neat. That was a cool fight. Damn. God, I will say, Yakuza games are just known to have such fucking great fights with great music, too. It's like, Jesus. Chapter 11, Crisis. Oh, damn, I actually took my, my blazer off. It's a rare look at the shirt underneath.
寝てしまっていたのかああ1時間くらいだなあのボーイは最終便で東京へ帰ったタミヤに直接会って謝りたいそうだ<笑>そうかあいつもタミヤと同じで気持ちで動く男なんだろう<笑>タミヤが好きなのがよくわかる Are you sure you can just let Toma go like this? What do you mean? You're the one who asked me to do it. Well, from the way Tommy put it, it's not like CIA orders were absolute for you. Is it me beating is me beating you in a fight really all it takes for you to abandon that resolve? Huh. I see what you're getting at. I can't deny the importance of the CIA in my life. But I work on my own methods. All I care about is achieving the proper result. I mean Daigo and Nakahara were shot in order to achieve that result. Well, I still don't believe you'd do that, even if you've been ordered to. So tell me the truth, Joji. Was it really you who shot them? Suppose I do owe you an explanation. I'm all ears. The truth of it is, what happened to Shigeru Nakahara and Dago Dojima was an unfortunate side effect of our concerted efforts to pass the military expansion bill. But there would have been no need to shoot them under normal circumstances. What? The one responsible for that was a colleague of mine. I'm gonna guess the guy in black, the blonde hair, who likes kicking. Another CIA agent. Yes. In Nakara's case, we were tri trying to obtain the deed to his land. But what happened to Daigo Dojima was all an unfortunate misunderstanding. What do you mean, a misunderstanding? Daigo panicked when he saw he me put my hand in my pocket. He acts instinct, I suppose. He must have thought I was going for my gun, and before I knew it, he had his own weapon trained on me. So your friend shot him? Correct. It wasn't dissimilar to how things went down with Nakahara. The first thing he did when we barged in demanding the D was go for his gun. <laughs> just, this guy's just like, shoot first, ask questions later. And this other agent, is he one of the foreigners around to in Kamurocho? Yes. Must make clear, we try our best to avoid taking things, taking lives in our line of work, even when the mission is at risk. But under those circumstances, we simply had no choice. No choice, huh? Even still, it would be lying if I said I didn't feel pangs of guilt over what happened. Don't. You're not the one who shot them. True. But the only reason we've arrived at this point is the agenda put forth by the CIA. The least I can do now is offer an apology. If possible, I'd like to do the same to both of the men impacted by all this. You can apologize to Nakahara right now. He's already out of the hospital. Got him. I'll shoot him again. Glad to hear that. But I don't have the authority to talk to another to a civilian about these matters. Everything we're doing here is entirely confidential, after all. That explains why you can't tell tell him anything, but the CIA won't even let you meet with him? It seems strict. Strict as it may be, that's the way it is. And I've killed far more than my fair share of men in this line of duty. But atoning for those lies that I've taken is impossible. Go against this direct CIA mandate. That impossibility is the most difficult part of this job. And I'll tell Nakara myself then. I'm sure he'll be... Uh, he'll probably still be pissed. <laughs> that, that wouldn't be a problem, would it? No, please do. And please apologize to Daigo as well once you're back in Tokyo. Daigo, do you know where he is? You don't? No. Kashiwagi-san told me he couldn't risk letting that information out in case it fell into the wrong hands. So nobody else knows where he is. As far as I know, I need more certainty than that, Kiryu. All I know is what Kashiwagi-san told me. What difference would it make anyway? Let me ask you something. What do you think Mine would do if he found out Daigo was still alive? Mine? What does he have to do, do with this? Daigo is nothing more than an obstacle on his path toward Tojo Clan chairmanship, yes. He wouldn't just stand by and watch if he knew Daigo hadn't been killed. You're saying Mine knows where Daigo is? It's difficult to know either way, but I can't rule out the possibility. And if Mine is working with Black Monday, they'll have total access to their information network. In other words, as long as there's a chance Mine knows where Daigo is, Daigo is in grave danger. Daigo, where is Tokyo. Wait, how does he know? Ah, Ah, Ah,すでに峰が動き出していたとしたら、手遅れにもなりかねない。
気流のおじさん。おじさん。大地。だっどうしてこんなところに。大変、大変なんだよ、おじさん。どうしたんだ。何があったんだ。あ、あ、朝顔が朝顔がああ、Hello, what in the fuck? Oh god, it's this dude again. Is he got fucking pickaxes? Oh my god! Ah, leg shots! この施設が好きか俺はなこういう大人に守られたガキを見ると<笑>無性に腹が立ってくるんだ孤児だからって大人に守られて生きるお前らを見るとな壊してやりたくなるんだよ Jesus Christ, me, ねま自分が行ってる偽善に気づかない桐生さんが悪いお前たちはある意味あの人の被害者なのかもしれないな。Oh, smack the shit out of it, Orca! God, oh God, please God, no. No, not the doghouse. We just got that. Oh, fucking hell! Mikio! What is that? This guy... This guy... I'm not going to kill him. Mikio! What are you waiting for? I'm going to kill you! Yes! Mikio! Let's go! Oh my god. Jesus Christ! Holy fuck, dude! てっきり死んだと思っていたがなかなかしぶといじゃねえか玉城俺の命が欲しいならくれてるだがあいつらは関係ねえ子供の命とこの場所だけは見逃してくれ頼むこんなんじゃ足りないねこれはまだ一年前の傷が痛むんだよじじいあおっ
親父<笑>てねえとは後でゆっくり話させてもらうよここをぶっ潰した後にな,な何だとほらやれだえあおうなややめろ <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Curious fucking pissed. Tony got taken under. Ojisa, Suguni Asago Nikiteo. Wakata. I'm going back to Morning Glory. Understood. What about Mine? It's entirely possible he's already en route to Kaburoto to get rid of Daigo once and for all. I need to take care of my kids, Joji. That's the first priority. Fuck Daigo. Alright, at the very least, I may have a way to get you to Tokyo quicker once you're done. What do you mean? I'll reach out to the CIA headquarters, see if I can arrange something over at one of the military bases. I'll need to head up to Tokyo myself soon, after all. Oh, and there's no question that Mine is working with Black Monday. I mean, he'll more, li more likely than not be waiting for you at the hospital. I imagine Richardson will be there too. That's the leader of Black Monday, right? Remember Tommy and telling me about him. Yes. Unfortunately, even with CIA, the CIA's massive information network, all we have is his name. The man is an enigma. One thing is for sure, though. He's responsible for every last operation Black Monday has ever put into motion. <laughs> That's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm part of the team. I'm helping. If Tommy had told you about Richardson, I assume you were also told about our plan to lure him out. Assuming it's worked, I need to go to Tokyo to finally arrest him. In other words, leave the transportation to me. You get home to your kids. Thanks, Joji. I appreciate it. Let's go, Taichi. Gotta hurry! <laughs> Taichi! Taichi and Kiryu! Uncle Kaz! Hold my hand, Taichi, you're across the street! Man, I don't get you! I don't want to get you cuties, Uncle Kaz! Oh, shit, she's just getting fucking crazy! But I think we're pretty far to this episode at this point. So I think this is probably a good place to end things here for now. Shit, though, is Mickey dead? Like, holy shit. I mean, he just took a sledgehammer to, like, the fucking neck. Or the head. Yeah, like, I, I don't know, man. That was, like, that was some Tachibana shit right there. F I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is bad, though. It's just getting intense. I hope the, I hope the orphanage didn't get, like, torn down or, like, set on fire or something. Like, goddamn. But we'll find out next episode, guys. Uh, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe for an all-rave cup, Piggy Penguin. My boy, this LP. Where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.